Virtual Super Scientist Night, Millington Elementary, third grade. Virtual Super Scientist Night, third grade. Welcome third grade families and students. We're going to be learning about matter. What is matter? What is the matter? And you matter. Today, we're going to do a puffy sidewalk chalk experiment. What is matter? Mute your screen and turn and talk to your parents or brother and sister a partner or family member as you answer the question. What is matter? If you said that matter is anything that takes up space and matter is everything around you, then you would be correct. Do you know the three states of matter? Mute your screens and turn and talk. If you said the three states of matter are solids, liquids, and gases, then you would be correct. What are the properties of matter? Tell me about a solid. Do you see any solids in your house? Solids have a complete shape. Give me some examples of some solids. What about liquids? Liquids have volume but no shape. Liquids take the shape of any container. Do you see any liquids in your refrigerator or in your house? What about gases? What about the air that you breathe or the wind outside or helium in a balloon? What about the steam that comes up on the stove when your mom is cooking? All of those are examples of gases. Boys and girls, as you listen to the story and create puffy sidewalk chalk, think about the properties of matter. What you will need, bowl, spoon, squeeze bottle, whisk, funnel, grater, optional only with parent, Ziploc bag, colored sidewalk chalk, flour, water, and shaving cream. Boys and girls, our learning targets. We will identify, classify, and describe the properties of matter. We will answer questions about matter. We will read a book about matter. We will participate and create a puffy sidewalk chalk experiment. We will participate in a virtual scavenger hunt. And we will complete and submit an assignment in Seesaw.
sidewalk chalk. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is all-purpose flour. We have a measuring cup of two-thirds, and we are going to pour in two-thirds of the flour. Make sure you have an adult handy to help you. So we're gonna put it in the bowl, so we only have the flour in the bowl. Next, we are going to get two-thirds of water. We're gonna use the same measuring cup and we're gonna pour in two-thirds of water, okay? So now we have flour and water in our bowl and we're going to whisk it together. Or you could get a spoon and stir it together if you do not have a whisk. So make sure you stir really good so it is actually coming together and it's not showing any water or flour sitting in the bowl anywhere. Okay? Now, once you've done that, you can set it to the side. The next thing is you're gonna get chalk. Or chalk. So if you have a grater, you can use a grater to actually find the chalk up or you can put it in a Ziploc bag and you can hit it on the floor if your parents are okay or you can get the handle of a fork or something and actually break the chalk down. So I'm gonna show you how to use a grater. So you put the chalk on the grater and you go down like this. You only can do this if you have a parent. Do not do this unless you have a parent right there with you. There's not a measurement on the amount of chalk you need. It's really whatever you want. The more chalk you have, the more color that's gonna actually come through. So if you wanna do the whole stick of chalk, you can. All right. So there's my blue chalk. So now what we do is we are going to spoon this chalk up and we're gonna put it in our mixture. All right, so here is our blue chalk with our mixture, and we're actually gonna mix it together. If it looks like it's too runny, go ahead and add a little bit more flour to thicken it up, because you do not want it that runny. All right, so if you notice, mine is really runny, so I'm gonna add a little bit more flour just so I know that it's not runny. This is so runny, I'm gonna add a little bit of flour. So I'm gonna get my two thirds cup. I'm just gonna put a little bit in it. I'm not even gonna fill it halfway up. And I'm gonna dump it in my bowl. So now that we have that, you can see my mixture of the blue and then a little bit of flour. So now I'm gonna mix it together. All right, so you can see now that it's a little bit thicker. And that's what we want because it's gonna look like puffy paint. Our last ingredient is shaving cream. Now we're not gonna measure it, but you're actually just needing a fourth of a cup. So one fourth, if you remember our measurements, we did in math. So one fourth is not that much. So we're gonna just put in a little bit and that's about a fourth of a cup and we're gonna mix it together. Now you can see how that shaving cream is really sticking to all the sides. So you have to scrape it with your whisk or your spoon. And then beat it off. All righty, and there we go. Our next thing is we're actually going to put it in our bottle. Okay, so you're gonna need a funnel for us to funnel it out in, and you just need a bottle of a little squirt bottle if you have one at home. And here is my lid to the squirt bottle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our funnel in the bottle, and let me get rid of this twist here. We're gonna sit it right there. I'm gonna use a spoon to pour it down into my bottle. Be careful when you're pouring it down. I know I have a big bowl, so you could use a much smaller bowl because you can see that that's a lot of bowl for a little bit of mixture. So we're gonna pour it down in here. 
Make sure you don't fill the funnel up too much because it's going to take slow because it's thick to get down into the bottle. Okay. Then we're going to finish out and put the rest in here. Now, depending on how much you make, you can make different batches of this and you can actually fill your bottle all the way to the top. It's up to you. As long as you put the lid back on the bottle, you can actually reuse what's in here. And then you can do it again and make a different color. Alrighty, so that is all of ours through our fill, our, there we go. Now, you're just gonna put your top on your bottle. And you see I almost got it about halfway full. And you pop off the lid, and now you can go out to the sidewalk and actually draw on the sidewalk with your sidewalk Hi, chalk. the third grade team and I, we are going to read a book called Matter. Physical Science for Kids. The author is Andy Dine. Thank you. 
feel fuller. Many things are made of matter, but everything looks different. You look different from your dog. Your dog looks different from your milk. Your milk looks different from the steam that comes from a pot of boiling water. Matter can have many different shapes, colors, and sizes. Hope you enjoy the story. Now that we know what matter is, let's have a virtual scavenger hunt. All right, boys and girls, so listen to the directions for the virtual scavenger hunt. Listen for the state of matter. Go get the item. No running. Ask an adult for help. Bring back the item and hold it up to the camera so others can see. Mute your screens. Are you ready? Hope you had fun learning about matter. Boys and girls, go to Seesaw and complete your assignment. From your third grade teachers, thank you for attending Super Scientist Night. Matter. <laughs>